Hi guys, uh, I, you don't normally hear from me. My name is Rich Keller. I'm, I'm webmaster for Grace Life, and I'm usually doing something something busy in the back end, in the background that you don't. You, you might see my, the end result, but you don't usually see me. So, um, but uh, at any rate, um, I wanted to share with you guys the uh, Grace Life app, which is now available, and just walk you through that real quick and give you a little background of, of what we hope to accomplish with it. Um, it's available for uh, iPhone and Android, and um, you can get it on Amazon and Google Google Play. Um, you can also get it for Roku and Apple TV. So um, it won't have all the features that the the smartphone app will have, but um, you'll be able to uh, at least watch and listen to some of the podcast uh, things that we post um, through that. So if you don't have if you have one of those. Uh, uh, devices you can use that as well so the app's free and we've geared it towards adults and kids and provide you guys with you know solid grace based grace based materials to encourage and equip you guys and um you know grace life is <clears throat> tries to stay ahead and be on be on the <laughs> we've been a little bit behind on the technology curve but we want to get us up to speed and and really with the app there's been two goals in mind i think when we started down this path and one was to get better engaged and equip the free grace community in particular and provide a place where you guys can ask questions and hopefully get answers. And, and so to me, that's a that's a whole discipleship aspect and to create a one-stop shop where you can have devotional or daily scripture reading. Or um, I know there are other apps that do that, but maybe not necessarily from a free grace perspective. So um, those, are, those, those types of things are all we're trying to integrate into one app. Some of those are already here. I'll show you as we walk through it. But um, the second was to be ready to give an answer, of course, you know, First Peter 3.15, and uh, always be ready to give a defense to anyone who asks you for the reason of hope that's within you. So um, that's that's the the other objective there. So being equipped, um, you know, we'll have Charlie's Grace Notes on here at your fingertips and articles from the Grace Research Room. And um, um, I've also integrated these e-tracks, which I'll show you here in a little bit, but where you can swipe through and give and present the gospel. Um, so you don't have to have a booklet, you can just do it through the app. Um, we've had requests for this, and we've kind of teamed up with uh, Larry Moyer and Eve Antel and, and Grace for Kids to, uh, to integrate some of that stuff. So um, anyway, those, those are really uh, primary goals for the app, is to equip you guys, grow you guys, and, and have you be able to share and um, make this useful for your own personal growth. So um, without further ado, I'll click on the app here, it's a, the green icon, and... Um, you, you'll be able to register your name and everything once you sign in, and you can do that by clicking in the upper left bar and create an account. And that'll allow you to um, download some of Charlie's talks. Um, you can search for things. Um, you'll have an inbox if you're part of a group um, or the organization. Um, you'll be directly linked to your giving if you want to do that. And then um, notes. At some point, we may have sermon notes for some of Charlie's speaking events that you can you can follow along with just like you would um, uh, on at church. Um, so across the top, um, when you're uh, watching a video or, or something, you can, you can broadcast it to your TV there, um, and, and listen to it. And there's also a, in the upper right camp corner is the messaging. Some of these things you won't see because I have access to them and, and y'all may not. Uh, we'll have a kid's zone, which is a private one by invite only, um, grace notes where you can discuss things and some announcements and things. So, um, Charlie will hopefully be posting there. Um, and so you can create threads in there and do searching, and there's all kinds of fun things that go on with that. So you close that out. Um, so that's evolving. We'll see how that goes and uh, what people are interested in. So uh, I just keep my keep myself open to that. Um, so as far as the rest of the app, you know, we've got Daily Grace, which is just kind of a, a daily verse and devotional. Sometimes we'll have something from Charlie. Um, and uh, other theologians in there, and we'll just try to give you guys an encouraging word. Um, Grace Notes, of course, is in here, and so we'll have that in the languages. One thing to note with the languages, if a Grace Note has not been translated, like the Russian, for example, not all of them are in there. I think we just have two of them right now. Um, But uh, if it's not translated, then it will show up in English. So just just note that if you're uh, uh, from one of these other countries or languages spoken. So you can click on your language, and then I've got them ordered by 
um, grace note number. We can only show 50 at a time. That's one of the limitations, so I've got it broken up. And as we add more, we're coming up on 100, Charlie, so um, we'll add, add to that. But I've also got it now broken down by topic. And so you can come in here and you can look up any of the grace notes that are associated with forgiveness. And there's five of them here, it looks like. You can pull that up. Um, and uh, or, or, or the law, if you want to read about the law. It looks like Charlie just discussed one topic on that. Um, and so that, that pulls it up. So, um, And you can read through it. And the nice thing about this is um, it's nicely formatted and you can actually share. So if you notice, if you just tap the screen, you've got this up arrow and you can actually share um, information about that with, with other folks. So that's really useful. Um, and so you can also post that in the message boards too if you're interested in something like that. So German's on there. We've got, we've got all, all of this stuff on here, and it's just these guys have done a great job translating all of these things for us. Um, we didn't just use um, Google Translate to do these. We've actually used people to do it, so it makes sense. And some of this has been challenging, but... At any rate, so all the grace notes are there, um, which is nice, and it'll automatically be updated. Once I publish something, it'll it'll show up in your feed, and we'll send out a notification. and And just like any other apps, if you have your notifications on, you'll see it you'll see it pop up, and uh, you can get to it really quickly. So that's going to be really nice. Um, and if Charlie has something to say too, or he wants to send something out, he he'll use the notifications as well. And um, um, we'll just work towards that goal and, and try to be more interactive in that regard. Um, talks and interviews. Um, this is where we'll have a lot of Charlie's uh, items here, um, his messages that when, when we do have a video, um, we'll, we'll post it here. Um, if he does something at like a, a free grace conference or he does conferences all over the country and in different places. So um, we'll post that stuff there. Um, most of these recordings are... I think all of these actually are available also on the Roku and um, Apple TV app as well. So um, Grace Research Room, this is just like the website. Uh, it's got all the articles from our different authors. And um, again, it's, uh, it's all formatted nicely and you can share these with folks and, and read it at your leisure. Um, so that's, that's useful. And then, of course, the podcast. And we've got... Um, this will take you to uh, Simply by Grace, and then we've also embedded Simply by Grace the book. So you've got all uh, all of the SB, as Charlie reads through his Simply by Grace book, all thirteen chapters here, and with the interviews at the end. So you've got Dave Anderson and Garth Oliver and um, John Salveson and and Roger um, all being interviewed in these, and that's they're immortalized in the app now. Um, and, of course, the Grace Stories, so all of those are on there, and if uh, one of those interests you, you can share that, and you can download those uh, all within the app, so um, it's pretty neat. Uh, calendar events, so we've got speaking schedules and special events. Um, you can try to start posting a lot of the stuff here, and you can keep up to date where he's going to be talking, um, and then special events, of course. Um, one of them coming up is the FGA conference and even the Israel trip, so um, this is where what we'll use for um, uh, pre-registration and even registration. You'll be able to, to pay through this uh, uh, through this link that'll, that we'll set up in here. Um, so if you want to go to Israel, make sure to sign up here, pre-register. Um, no fees initially. It's just uh, showing an interest. Um, and so we'll have calendars there. And then um, one of the fun ones that I thought was interesting was my what I call the e-tract and um, this is how to share the gospel message, and there's been a lot of, <laughs> I've seen some traffic uh, in in our emails and people asking questions specifically to us um, about how to share the gospel, and, and is there a good place to get that information, and you know, I'm scared to do it, or um, I don't have confidence to do it, or I always get lost in my message, or you know, how do I, how do, I do this? And so what I've, what I've done is we got permission from Evantel to put this here. And there's the English version and a Spanish version, but the uh, the slides are all right here in the app. And then if you want to watch the training video, which takes you through those slides, um, it'll walk you through that. And so you've got good news, bad news, and you just click on the good news, bad news. And if you rotate your phone, we'll see if this works when I'm recording, um, you can swipe left and right and scroll through each of the slides. So when you're sharing it with somebody, 
you'll have kind of a, a, a nice thing to follow, follow along with and keep your mind going as you walk through the, the Romans road, so to speak. Um, Romans 3, 23 and 24. So um, we hope you find that useful. Um, I think it's, it's, it's pretty neat. Um, I've got Evantel's link here too if you want more information and gaining confidence and things like that. It's really, really useful. Um, and so to that end, we've also teamed up with Grace for Kids and, and with Janine McNally. And she's got her blog on here. So we're always getting questions about where can I go for grace-based materials for kids or parents with kids. And, and um, Janine's, Janine's really started up a nice, uh, nice ministry here, Grace for Kids. And so she's got her blog on here that you can read through. Um, which is useful, and then also the gospel tracks. So she's provided us with those as well. And if you want to share the gospel message with kids, um, it's the it's the same format, um, and you can swipe through all of these slides left and right. I'm using my finger to do this, um, and then be able to share the message with kids. So uh, very handy, and uh, we'll have other ones as we go through it. How do I know? And Christmas story. I know she has an Easter one. Um, I need to bug her for that one. Um, and then the kids zone, uh, all materials that she's working on and, and other things. So all of that's right built right into the app. Um, of course, external resources and other places to, uh, to hear grace-based products or, or things that we believe are, are good for your, your spiritual growth and, and knowledge. Um, so through the Bible, of course, Grace Walk Ministries, Sonic Light, Dr. Constable here, um, is just fantastic. Um, of course, Grace School of Theology and and Bible.org. So things like that um, you can get to. Um, Grace Life Gear, we've got the bookstore. We've got Charlie's Bookstore here. This will take you directly to his uh, the book. So if you're interested in ordering something, it'll go right there. Um, and then uh, more about us and contact us. Now, one of the things at the bottom here um, that I'm not showing are... Bible outlines. That's still in progress, and so I haven't released that yet. Um, and basically what it is is Charlie's outlines, and so I, this is taking me a while to do, but basically come here, Old Testament, New Testament, and you can click on that, and you can find your book that you're interested in. And we'll just click on Romans, for example. It'll pull up, and you'll get a list here, the author, uh, the date and place, and, and this is directly from... Um, Charlie's PhD uh, work that he did, um, the occasion and the purpose, why they wrote the book, um, and then the arguments used within the book, and uh, so it walks you through some of the thoughts on Paul, and then the outline, of course. So in, in the outline section, you'll see um, bolded text if it's expandable, so you just click on it, so like the introduction, and that'll expand out um, more depth for you within each of the sections of the of the book. So, you know, chapters 1, 18, 8 through 30, 8, 39, and you can expand all of these out and uh, and get a good overview of how the how the book is structured. So, um, we're trying to do that for all 66. I think I've got 5 done so far at the time of this discussion. And uh, we'll get there. That's not out yet. I'll, I'm going to hide that once uh, once we do go live here, but uh, I'll let you know when that's available soon. So um, so some of the other things in the app, um, I've already mentioned the messages, I think, real quick. Down on the bottom corner, you've got the Bible study. So down on the bottom left, it says study. If you click on that, it'll bring up um, a Bible and a Bible reading plan. And so you can, you can go through the reading plan here. Um, I've got it set up for, for daily. And you just click on on your reading for the day, and you come down. And once you're done, you just complete it. Boom! There you go. And uh, it keeps track. So um, you can take notes. Um, you can share passages. You can do um, all kinds of things. It's all nicely built in. Um, they don't have rights to New King James Version yet. Um, they have some of the other ones though: ASV, um, RVA. Uh, so so some of that's in there. Um, but uh, you can also give. So if you click in the middle, that'll take you to the giving portion. <clears throat> and you can set that up to do it uh, every day, monthly, weekly, twice a month, whatever you want to do. Um, it'll accept uh, foreign currency, so it'll do the conversion for you. Um, and then, of course, down at the bottom navigation there, you've got the podcast and the grace notes again. So everything's, like, right there. Um, and uh, so 
anyway, that's kind of a quick quick overview of this and, and what we're trying to accomplish. And um, hopefully you can uh, stay more involved and, and, and use this as a, as a resource for, for yourself and for outreach. So hope you guys enjoy it.